Ever wondered how a message or call from your device reaches your friend's device miles away? Well, there's no sorcery involved, but the answer lies within the fascinating realm of signal transmission. Signal transmission is the vital process that enables the transfer of information from one location to another. Imagine the world without it. No mobile calls to catch up with your friends, no browsing the internet for the latest news, no streaming your favorite shows. Sounds unthinkable, right? That's the power of signal transmission. It breathes life into our digital interactions, keeping us connected in an increasingly globalized world. From the moment you send a text to the time it pops up on your friend's screen, signal transmission works tirelessly behind the scenes, ensuring your messages are delivered in a blink. To understand how this magic happens, we will delve into the world of signal transmission. So, buckle up and prepare to embark on a journey of discovery. In the simplest terms, signal transmission is like passing a note in class. To really grasp the concept of signal transmission, let's break it down into three fundamental components the transmitter, the medium, and the receiver. It's a bit like sending a note in class. When you scribble a message on a piece of paper and pass it to a friend, you're acting as the transmitter. The paper note is the medium, carrying your message across the room. And your friend? They're the receiver interpreting the message you've sent. In signal transmission, the transmitter is the source of information. It could be a television station broadcasting your favorite show or your smartphone sending a photo to a friend. The transmitter's job is to convert the information into a form that can be sent through the medium. This process is called modulation, and it's like writing your message on that piece of paper. The medium is the pathway the signal travels along. In our classroom note-passing analogy, the medium is the air through which the note passes. In the real world, the medium could be anything from a copper wire to a beam of light in a fiber optic cable, or even the airwaves carrying radio signals. Finally, we have the receiver. This is the device at the other end that picks up the signal from the medium. It could be your television set, your friend's smartphone, or the radio in your car. The receiver's job is to demodulate the signal, or in simpler terms, to interpret the information it carries. This is like your friend reading the note you've passed. So there you have it, the basics of signal transmission. It's a simple process that's happening all around us all the time. Every text message you send, every TV show you watch, every song you stream, they're all made possible by this process. But instead of passing notes, we're sending complex data like voice, text, and video. Just like there are different ways to pass a note, there are different types of signals. Let's dive into the two main types of signals, analog and digital. Imagine analog signals as smooth, continuous waves flowing without interruption. They're like the old vinyl records where the sound is inscribed directly onto the disc in a continuous groove. This continuous flow allows analog signals to offer a more accurate representation of the original sound or image. However, analog signals are not without their flaws. They are prone to distortion and noise, which can degrade the quality of the signal. Picture trying to listen to a song on an old scratched vinyl record. You'll hear the song, but you'll also hear a lot of unwanted noise. Now let's shift gears and talk about digital signals. If analog signals are continuous waves, digital signals are more like Morse code. They operate on a binary system, which means they only use two values, ones and zeros. A digital signal might look like a series of abrupt stops and starts, but this binary code can represent complex information incredibly efficiently. And there's another advantage. Digital signals are far more resistant to noise and distortion than their analog counterparts. So even if you're in a noisy environment, a digital signal will come through loud and clear. But they do have a downside. Digital signals can lose some of the fine detail present in the original sound or image because they work by approximating or sampling the original signal at regular intervals. So which is better, analog or digital? Well, it's not quite that simple. Both types of signals have their strengths and weaknesses, and the choice between them often comes down to the specific requirements of the system they're being used in. Whether analog or digital, signals are the vital messengers of our digital age. They're the unseen couriers carrying our voices, images, and data from one place to another, making our modern, interconnected world possible. Now that we understand the players and the types of signals, let's explore the game. The signal transmission process. So, you might be wondering, how does this game play out? Well, it's a three-step process that involves the transmitter, 
the medium, and the receiver. The magic begins with the transmitter, which takes the information we want to send and converts it into a signal. This signal is the language of the transmission world. Consider your phone, for instance. When you send a text message, your phone, acting as the transmitter, takes the text and turns it into a signal. This signal is a kind of coded message, a series of ones and zeros, known as binary data. This binary data is then modulated into a form suitable for transmission. This could be analog or digital, depending on the type of signal we discussed in the previous scene. Next up is the medium. This is the highway on which our signal travels. It could be a physical medium, like a wire or fiber optic cable, or it could be a wireless medium, like the air around us or even space. Depending on the medium, the signal may have to brave various obstacles, like interference from other signals or degradation due to distance. Now let's talk about the journey. If our signal is traveling through a wire, it's a simple straight shot. However, if it's traveling wirelessly, it may bounce around a bit off buildings, trees, and other obstacles before it reaches its destination. Despite these challenges, our brave little signal continues its journey thanks to the power of physics and some clever engineering. Once the signal has completed its journey, it arrives at the receiver. The receiver's job is to take this signal and convert it back into information that we can understand. It's like a translator, taking the coded language of signals and turning it into something we can comprehend. Let's go back to our text message example. When your friend receives your text, their phone, acting as the receiver, takes the signal and demodulates it, converting it back into the original binary data. It then decodes this binary data into the text message you sent. And voila, your friend can now read your message. It's quite fascinating when you think about it. This whole process happens in the blink of an eye, often without us even realizing it. Every time we make a call, send a text, or stream a video, we're setting off a flurry of activity in the world of signal transmission. And just like that, a simple click or tap sends information flying across the globe. So, we've taken a journey from your device to your friends, all in the blink of an eye. It's a voyage that's so integral to our lives, yet often overlooked. Let's take a moment to recap. We kicked off our journey with an introduction to signal transmission. This process, which is the backbone of our digital lives, involves sending information from one place to another. We dove into the components that make up this system, from the transmitter that encodes the information into a signal, to the medium that carries the signal, and finally, to the receiver that decodes the information. Then we moved on to the different types of signals. Analog and digital, two key players in this grand scheme. Analog signals, with their continuous and varying nature, were the pioneers in signal transmission. However, the digital revolution has brought us digital signals, which are more resistant to noise and can be easily processed by computers. Our exploration continued with the transmission process itself. We learned how the encoded information is sent across distances, be it through wires, air, or even space. This process, which seems almost magical, is based on well-established scientific principles. The signal carrying our precious information travels at incredible speeds, overcoming hurdles like interference and noise. The importance of signal transmission in our daily lives cannot be overstated. It's the invisible thread that connects us with the world. Whether you're making a video call to a loved one across the globe, streaming your favorite show, or even navigating using GPS, you're relying on signal transmission. And that, folks, is the incredible journey of signal transmission, a marvel of modern technology that continues to evolve and shape our lives in unimaginable ways. Next time you send a message or make a call, remember the incredible journey it's about to embark on. Stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world of technology around us.